for you know the six best OG wall breaches in GTA 5 Online. Watch this video to find out. All the pool breaches will be timestamped in the description. Also, just as a disclaimer, I am a bit ill at the minute, so my voice does sound a bit frazzled. <laughs> This first one is based near the golf area as you can see on the map and it is inside of a little building so you drive up to it on any bike and then you go through the roof at the top. So as you can see here I'm driving up to it going through the garage door and then you're in. So once you're in you can shoot out of it in the little gaps uh, of the open garage door but you cannot shoot out anywhere else unfortunately and if you do want to get out then you do have to take the easy way out. So for this next one, you are down by the beach on this little path area, I don't know what to call it, but you can see it on the map here, basically right at the bottom of the map. You want to walk down these stairs that I'm at, and you see the rocks here that I'm looking at now, you need to go into the water and swim in the way I do it here. So once you have done that, all you need to do is simply run into the rocks and you'll see that you would have glitched inside of the rocks. Now you can pull out weapons here and you can shoot outside of it, you can use any gun you want, even explosives and RPGs and homing launchers, so you can see why this would be very effective. This next one is very well known within the community and it's dead in the middle of the map which is why it is so powerful. So you simply want to come to where I am and come to this little block thing and just walk through this wall here and it's as simple as that. So as you can see me doing here, you can shoot out using any gun once again, other than the back wall, you cannot shoot out of that. But that's fine as you can shoot out the top still, so you can use homing launchers, RPGs, whatever you want to be able to take out jets. This next one is based by the bank in the city and all you want to do is come to the spot where I'm showing you now and get a car which is big enough to jump up onto, so like the G-Wagon I've got here. Then you want to jump into this bush into the corner and you should fall over. So you see I haven't here but all you can do is, is simply pull out your up and atomizer gun and then shoot whereabouts I am now and you'll see that your player will fall like this and then glitch through into the wall breach. Now this is cool in itself because it's like the interior has been made but you haven't been able to access it so this is just a way to access it. The only downside to this is that you cannot actually shoot out of it but it's still a pretty cool wall breach regardless and you can protect yourself from griefers. So this one involves one of the bridges that goes across the LS River and all you need is a Deluxo for this and then all you need to simply do is come to where I go and then fly through the gap in the bridge so it's not so much a gap but more like a glitch. So you do need to get the right height and by that I mean you need to drive straight into it so then your car is on the floor like this and then you can actually put the wheels of the Deluxo down and drive around in here. But the best thing about this glitch is that you can get out and you can shoot above. So this is perfect for place like chases or whatever as you don't necessarily lose them in here but you can kill them and you are untouchable in here you are in god mode even rpgs cannot kill you from above so this next one is a classic and as you can see on the map you all probably know where it is and that is the construction building so everyone knows that there are many many wall breaches on this one particular building but my favorite one has to be the one that i'm going to show you now which is down by these little green bits here and that's because the only way you can get in is with an oppressor so it makes the opportunity for people to get in a lot smaller so the green sheet you do need to enter will be the top one that is standing by itself but once you've done it it's as simple as flying through it and as you can see I can get off, I can walk around, I can pull out guns, shoot out So that is it for this video, I do hope you enjoyed these OG wall breaches now I imagine you probably have seen some of these before but I made this video to rejog your memory or if you haven't these are some of the most powerful wall breaches that have been in the game for a very long time now I do have another video in the works that isn't to do so much with wall breaches but more of a GTA trivia type video. Now this one is taking me a long time to create and edit because it is going to be a very big video. So if you do want to see what's to come with that then do be sure to leave a like and subscribe if this has helped you and you do want to see more content from me in the future. Other than that I shall see you all in my next video. No warning, in a flash of flight, don't need no warning.